guys today I'm coming to you guys with another video and it's not your ordinary Kaidenyo video today I'm about to show you guys how I stay fresh all day all night so I wanted to show you guys every all the products that I use to stay fresh and clean all day because I know some girls struggle with this with hygiene and they didn't have you know parents to tell them how to stay clean all day and fresh so i got you girl i got you i'm gonna show you so let's get into it. first thing i do when i wake up is i brush my teeth so the first thing I do is I use these toothpicks and I got them from Dollar Tree. They was only a dollar. They work very good. I don't really like this particular kind because it's kind of hard to get up in there. But this is the ones I have right now. They are. I usually get the ones that's just straight. So yeah, I floss my teeth use mouthwash actually and i use this mouthwash right here i actually don't use listerine because it's kind of expensive so i just use this and i got the twin pack but i only got one right here so i use this first and then i floss and then after i floss i rinse again with the mouthwash and then I go in with my toothbrush. And right now I got an Oral B toothbrush. And I love it so much. It was only a dollar. I got it from Dollar Tree. And I got this from um, Walmart for like $6. It was like two for $6. It was like $5.48. And it came to like, you know, almost $6. Yeah, so I do that. After I brush my teeth, I. Rinse again with the mouthwash. Again. <laughs> so in total, I use the mouthwash three times before I brush my before I floss my teeth. After I floss my teeth, so four times before I floss my teeth. Before I floss my teeth. After I floss my teeth. No, three times after I floss my teeth and then after I brush my teeth. So that's three times. Yeah, I use the mouthwash three times. And yeah. And it be gone quick. Um, I don't care. I like using my mouthwash. It keeps your mouth nice and, you know, fresh. And, um... Yeah, so I do that. Then after I brush my teeth, I wash my face. And I do that with a wash rag. The first thing I do is get a wash rag like this. And then and then I um wet it with real hot, 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 hot water. And I wash my face with just water. Yes, just water. I get the rag real hot, 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 steaming, and I just put the towel on my face and just wash it. Wash my face, wash my face, wash my face, wash my face. Rinse it, wash my face, wash my face, wash my face, wash my face. And then, I'm after done. I wash my face with the washcloth, I take some cotton pads. Yes, I got them from family dollar and it was like 160 something yeah so I got that I get this witch hazel let's look at witch hazel put this on a pad and then just wipe my face with it and then I just get paper towel and wash it off and not wash it off but like pat my face dry and then, oh my god, I got to get something else. Why didn't I get all this stuff before I started this video? I always I do that. I take my vitamin E oil. 
and I put this all on my face and I rub it in my face and I don't put lotion on my face no more I just use strictly vitamin E oil and my face not it's not bad it's not bad okay <laughs> get your tips from your girl okay so after I do that I hop in the shower my um shower washcloth is already in the shower and I rinse off I rinse for about let's say a good 10 15 minutes okay, I use a different wash rag but I'm gonna just demonstrate with this I take <clears throat> my Dove sensitive skin because I have really sensitive skin my skin is very soft pour it on my rag and just wash my whole body scrub my whole body as much as I can scrub 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 everywhere everywhere even if you even if you took a bath the night before do it again because while you're asleep you're sweating you didn't wash your you don't wash your sheets every day you probably you wash your sheets every, like once a week right those days that you're not washing your sheets bacteria is building up so you're sleeping in your bed so you might as well just take another shower in the morning so you can feel more fresh in day in the middle of the day it don't matter if i need a shower i get in the shower but i'm just saying those are the two most important times to take a shower night and morning so yeah i just take that and i scrub my body and i rinse off and i scrub again and i rinse off and i scrub again after i do that i take my bar and dove soap like this because it has a because this and the, these two don't smell the same i don't care how much somebody say they smell the same they don't okay this one smells more strong than this Yeah, this one has like a more of a baby smell. Mm, it smells so good. So I take this nice bar of soap. Yes. I take that and I wash my front booty. <laughs> but I don't saturate my rag, okay? But wait, before you do that, you want to make sure your rag is rinsed all the way out, completely out. So what I do is I turn my shower off and I rinse it in, um, you know, the faucet. Yeah, I rinse it in that to just make sure all my old soap is out. So I do that and then I do like this. I do like this and I take my soap so I can't have a lot of soap down there okay so I just take this and this will bring a lot one little swipe from here on this wet when this is wet this will get you a lot of soap so what I do I just swipe it one time like that that's it one time one time that's all you need and then do that and then I just rub it in like that. <laughs> I am trying to tell y'all how to keep it clean okay without hurting your your poom poom because using soap a lot of soap will mess up your pH balance and girls don't know that they just think that oh I'm using a lot of soap I'm clean girl blah 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 just cause you using a lot of soap Nine times out of ten, you're not clean because you fucking... This time I'm spraying it. The outside of your vagina is brown. The inside is pink. Do not... I repeat. Do not touch the pink part with soap. Okay. 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 So, you take your 
rag that got a little bit of soap on it and you just rub this is that side you just keep you just scrub 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 that poo 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 <laughs> just scrub it 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 take one little swipe again saturate it okay take your take some water rinse it off rinse that side off Shh. rinse it off go in again same side wash it again that same side okay wash it wash it wash it wash it wash it wash it okay rinse it off rinse your rag off again go to another side of your rag you don't want to keep using that same side because duh you know why swipe it again saturate it again scrub it scrub it scrub it three times how many ever times you need do it okay rinse your rag thoroughly out rinse it you know how you be in the shower rinse that rag out turn that Turn this off because it's not enough pressure. Unless you have one with a lot of pressure. Because my shower, it like got a little pressure thing. So I don't have, I don't really have to turn it off. I could just use that. But sometimes I just turn it off just to be sure and not rinse it in a little faucet for all the pressure. And I just, whew. all right, then you do that again on the other side of your poom poom. Okay? Top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom three times or how many times you need but wait sis you're not finished take that washcloth again like this swipe saturate y'all know y'all clit i'm talking to all girls i don't care y'all know y'all clit pull that thing back and wash you Wash under your clip with soap. Not a lot, a little bit. A little tiny bit on your rag, on the tip of your finger, and wash up under your clip. Because baby girl. It's just like a man having it's just like when a man got um when a man is not uncircumcised and he has to pull back his skin and wipe and clean his penis. That's basically what it is. So do that, okay? Rinse in between doing things because you don't wanna keep putting the same bacteria back on yourself. That's stupid. Then you might as well not even wash, okay? Always wash your front butt before your back butt. Okay, because you don't want to get poo bacteria in your vagina. So that's done. You're going to wash your booty with the same soap. But this time, oh yeah, don't forget to rinse your rag thoroughly, like I said, after you finish washing your poom poom. Okay, then you're going to take your rag, your raggy, raggy, rag. Make sure you change your rag. I say it every day. But if you don't have a washing machine in your house, don't do it every day. I, I personally, I have a washing machine in my house, so I can wash clothes whenever I want. So that's why I change my rag every day. I mean, I probably will use the same rag some days, but most of the time when I'm finished, I don't know which color I had. <laughs> so I just get a new one. Get your soap. And this time you better wash your butt butt. So saturate that that rag get it as soapy as you want because you you want your booty to be squeaking okay <laughs> scrub 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 that soap on your rag and then scrub 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 that booty. let me tell you how to scrub your booty do one side at a time do it in sections okay this is how your butt will get cleaner do it in sections one Oh my god, it's hard to do this. Rinse your rag again. I'm sorry, y'all, but I use a lot of soap and I buy soap 
every two weeks i'm sorry i do so just just do it okay y'all like my little beat rinse your rag before you wash the other side of your butt and then rinse the other side wash the other side of your butt get your rag roof saturated wash the other side of your butt boom 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 rinse Oh yeah, and I forgot, rinse the other side too, before you go to the next side. And then rinse. And then you could do that side three times. And then do the three times rinse. Wash. I be in the shower for like an hour. It depends on how much time I have. But yeah, so. Yeah, I'm telling you, it will work. I just rinse my body off. Just, you know get all the soap make sure all the soap is gone off of your skin because it'll make you itch well me personally it makes me itch so i get everything off of me behind your ears everything off make sure everything put that water on high blast and get all that soap off you and make sure you are squeaking if your body not squeaking like that when you go like that then you ain't clean if your body is like gliding if your finger gliding across your body you dirty i think i sprayed all this on me before i um dry off so it's like the the wet and this is just mixed all in and then you just pat yourself dry and then you just smell so good it's just mm, whoo you gonna smell good all day before you even dry off spray your body down with some perfume with some body spray then after that you want to go in with some lotion some smell good lotion this is this is not the same but i use it together because it smells good together i put this all on my body and i put the um vitamin e oil on my um my elbows because my elbows get real ashy and my feet i put vitamin e oil on my feet oh yeah another thing don't forget to wash your feet while you're in the shower you forgetting to wash their feet and yeah like i was saying i put the vitamin e oil on my feet and yeah on my knees and my elbows and uh, back on my face if any of it came off while i was in the shower and then you don't want hair nowhere but your head and your eyebrows you. so just keep everything clean and what i do with that is i use wax strips i used to use um well i still do use razors because these things hurt like i usually don't get all of it off with this so I usually just finish it with some with a razor. But I use these wax strips I got them from Walmart. And I use it. I, my boyfriend helped me. Cause I can't do it by myself. If I do it by myself, it's not gonna work. So I get him to help me. And that's another way to keep, you know, keep odor from building up is to keep your hair away and that way the best way is to use wax strips because wax strips wax is way better than um razors because razors your hair will be growing back the next day these your hair won't be growing back probably to about three weeks two weeks at the most i don't know another way to you know stay fresh during the day is you can keep you know um wipes in your purse you know instead of using tissue use flexible wipes or you can use baby wipes and throw them in the trash can but i personally like using flushable wipes or feminine wipes when you go to the bathroom because every time you pee and use tissue tissue doesn't it just dries it up you know what i'm saying it doesn't actually wipe away the pee it just dries it up off of you and when you dry stuff off of you it's still on you so the best well, the best thing to use is you know wipes 
because it wipes the um pee off of your vagina and another thing is to keep dry so after you use the wipes make sure that you use tissue to dry up all that moisture because you don't want to you know leave moisture down there because moisture builds bacteria so with that being said you need to wear these so it's always good to <clears throat> keep these around in your purse or even put them on because it just helps keep you dry all day and you could change it just like you change your pads with all that being said i think that will conclude my video um i hope you guys learn from this any kind of way um like this is what i do i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna give you no wrong info no wrong information that's why it took me a while to get this video out to you guys because I wanted to give you as raw, give it to you as raw as possible of how I really, you know, do things. Leave a comment down below and, you know, just, just tell me how it worked for you. And if it did work for you, let me know. Without further ado, if everybody could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be a blessing. And um, if you could follow my Instagram at Dream for Kaya. <laughs> if you could follow my Instagram at Dream of Kaya, just go check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.